Hi gentlemen, this is lesson four, video two of four, solving two steps two step equations with fractions. So the example is q divided by fifteen minus one fifth is equal to three fifths. So I'm gonna rewrite that. So q oops, that's a horrible looking q. <laughs> so q divided by fifteen minus one fifth is equal to three fifths. Now, all of these have, um, are super similar de denominator-wise, and so it is kind of easy to turn them into um, like denominators. But since I'm a person who's not entirely fond of fractions, um, I like to cancel out that denominator as fast as possible and make it a basic solving. So the way that I do that is I multiply through, so all three terms, I multiply through by the common denominator, and preferably the lowest common denominator. So in this case, the lowest common denominator is 15. So when you multiply through, that means that all three pieces get multiplied with the 15. Now, that 15 can only affect the numerator, okay? Because it's the same thing as saying 15 over 1. So by doing this, 3 times 15, you'll notice that some stuff can cancel out, like these 15s cancel out, and you'll get Q. 5 goes into 15 three times and then 5 goes into 15 3 times again, and 3 times 3 is 9, okay? So you'll see here, we now have a standard normal basic solving equation, which is a whole lot quicker. So if you add 3 to both sides, you'll get Q is equal to 12, and you're actually done with that question. And you'll notice that it took me less time by doing that because I got rid of the fractions, right? Getting rid of them makes it so much easier. So again, the first thing I did was I multiplied through. By the lowest common denominator, the LCD. Then, um, uh, multiply to numerator only, just so you remember. No, that's actually not two. Oops, multiply, I can't, I cannot write today, you guys, sorry. Aye, aye, aye. So again, multiply to numerator only. Then I simplified the fractions, which canceled out the denominators, and then I solved. Okay? And that was what I did. Here are your U tries. So 2x divided by 5 minus 1 half is equal to 5. And then 3 fourths u plus 1 half is equal to 7 eighths. And 1 fifth n minus um, 1 third is equal to 8 thirds. Um, for all of these ones, it is super important that you understand how the variable works. So 2x divided by 5 can actually also be rewritten as 2 fifths x, which helps you when it comes to um, b and c, because that means that you can take 3 fourths u and rewrite it as 3u over 4, so that when you multiply through by that common denominator, um, you'll multiply it to the 3, and that will hopefully cancel out with the 4, and then you'll just have um, something times u instead of uh, a fraction. Um, so there's that. Left side notes, uh, right side the u tries, and that's the end of this video.